He's wisely going hard into the wood. You can see the berries over here. Why is he not gathering uh, food? I just walked them past the Ottoman base. Maybe we should attack. Hey everyone, good to have you back once again. We've got that aggressive map here, uh, mountain clearing. It's so tight spaces here. I mean, there's there's just nowhere to go. And look at how close the relics spawn. I can just see them. They're just tantalizingly right there, just waiting for me to hit the castle age. Uh, previously, when I've played on this map, I like to play as the Ottomans. I'm going to try out some English here. Haven't played English in a little while. Going to try out maybe some of their new features. Um, though I am going to go Council Hall here. We could go Abbey of Kings and get that new King unit. But I really want to put on pressure with Longbowmen against these Chinese and unfortunately lose my scout there. That hurts. So yeah, playing as the English here, we have got a Holy Roman Empire ally by the name of Old Town. And we've also got a Mongol ally by the name of Offshore Wave. And we're going up against a Malian opponent, uh, Kaya. We've also got a Chinese opponent by the name of Minakwa, or Minakwa. And over here, we've got a French opponent by the name of Ibrahim Gunas. A nice variety of sieves. Very cool. Um, I've seen Holy Roman Empire on this map, and I've seen it played very greedy, where you grab up relics really quickly with the regnets. But it looks like my Holy Roman Empire ally, Old Town, is going to go Minework Palace. This got some changes um, in the new season. So now it gets some new technologies that are unique to that landmark. You can get additional melee armor for your spearmen and horsemen. And you can also get uh, these armor upgrades for your knights. And that was unfortunate right there. One of my villagers just walks right into the Barbican of the Sun. Because I didn't have my scout, I couldn't really get a sense of where my opponent was weak and we ended up walking right into the barbican but we've got our longbowmen out we can take shots at this scout and then continue to come forward it looks like we're forcing a response from minakwa uh villagers are putting down an outpost but we'll just back away that's a hundred wood spent hundred wood deviation from that player's uh opening build order and we can see the mongol ally um offshore trying to put some pressure on the Malians, and it's a good idea to put it put that pressure on here because uh, this is the pit mine these are easy buildings to destroy and they'll put the uh, the Malian opponent behind but now French royal knights are showing up I'm gonna lose two villagers here my longbowman cannot go back out there really wish this villager could just retreat into the nope no doing so we're going to focus on getting a barracks down, make some spearmen so we don't keep getting harassed by these royal knights. No surprise that the French are coming this way. French do well against English. Why not put some pressure on? But uh, my Holy Roman Empire ally is getting a second town center down really quick. So rather than going for the Aachen Chapel, got the Minework Palace and then a second town center and his... And, oh, wow. No wonder he went for it. Look at this resource spawn. The gold and stone are right next to each other. He could just put a uh, a prelate right here and bless all of these villagers, giving everyone increased gold and stone gathering. And look at that. Yeah, he's just going to gather up from these deer that he's trying to herd near his uh, town center. Look at that. He's going to use his scout to maybe push the deer closer and then shoot them down. Very cool. Meanwhile, my Mongol ally is still going to put on pressure, still in age one. And not really looking to rush up into the next age, wanting to uh, deny all these deer from the Malian opponent. I mean, this is a lot of deer, and if you can put outposts to cover them, then um, this Malian opponent is going to have to go for the less, uh, the, the less efficient berries. And we're even getting another outpost down over here. These villagers are just going to become targets underneath these outposts. No, keep the villagers working. Keep working on that. There we go. Me, I also want to put on pressure because I want to buy time for our Holy Roman Empire ally. 
who went for the second town center, so we definitely need to buy time. It's great that my Mongol ally is putting on pressure. I want to do the same against the Chinese opponent, but we've had a rough time with the outpost here, the Barbican here. I think the next plan of attack is gather some infantry here, build a ram, and then try to push in on this area on the left side here. Maybe we can curl around and find villagers on the wood line. But yep, there's those outposts harassing these villagers. That's going to be a villager kill right there. We might see some more. If he can put the uh, arrow slits enhancement on this, he could probably reach all these villagers gathering at these uh, berries. And so, yeah, all of this food is denied. All these deer. Looks like he's moving the mill over here. And the Malians, they don't have to panic here. They could uh, start producing cow, uh, cattle, put it on the backside of their town center and start collecting it. Malians do have a nice advantage on this map in that they're flexible, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the siege ram, or the, the battering ram, got a little injured there. I'm going to cancel it and uh, rebuild it since the French Royal Knights actually charged it and uh, dealt some good damage to it. So we're going to rebuild it. And I hate that these French Knights are just continually harassing me. Yeah, we're going to defend, stay back. We've got spearmen too. We're going to rally them over. Yeah, more outposts going down. These villagers are so exposed. The Malians are building up a good force. They've got javelin throwers. I don't know if that was really the move. Maybe one or two archers would have been nice, and then some sofas to just burn down the outposts. Or, sure, get a, a blacksmith and start building rams. But yeah, now that this is built, he's going to tuck some spearmen inside of it, and all these villagers are going to have to find a new place to work. Might even get a kill. Yep, there's a kill. So I've maybe had a rough start losing two villagers. Malians are having a rough start as well, losing maybe two villagers. And access to all these deer. That's painful. We're moving in. But it's really annoying that these French uh, units keep showing up. We can defend against maybe some archers and whatnot. Okay, now we're seeing villagers retreating inside the outpost. We're going to try and get some kills. Okay, we got one villager kill there. Maybe we can target down another. But here come the French knights. Ow, big charge. I wasn't controlling my spearmen well enough to brace for that. Although there's way too many units here. French archers, Chinese Jugnu, French royal knights. I'm getting 2v1 here. I'm just going to count my losses and back out. At this point, I'm just going to pivot to getting to the castle age and getting the king's palace down. Because I'm just having no luck in the feudal age. So while I'm not doing so hot, Malian opponent isn't doing so hot either. So now it kind of becomes a question of who's doing better, the Chinese opponent or our Holy Roman Empire ally. Our Holy Roman Empire ally is already in the Castle Age and has the Burgrave Palace out. It's kind of crazy that he already got to two town centers, is already in the Castle Age, and our Chinese opponent probably has that second town center but still isn't at the Castle Age. Maybe I forced out some units, forced out some defensive structures, just kind of panicked and threw him off of his normal build. Unless he's already aging up, he's desperate for food. And there's the rams coming down. This kind of mixed response from the Malians is not good. These Donzos are useless. Has he even seen cavalry units? No. Why make them? I would much rather see uh, Musafadi warriors. And why the javelin throwers? I don't know either. Uh, really, some archers would have been great because all he has seen are opposing spearmen. And if they had noticed that the Burgrave was built, he would only be making archers and Musafadi warriors. Looks like all these outposts are going to go down, but if you thought those Mongol outposts were annoying, wait until you see the Holy Roman Empire relic enhanced outposts. Look at this thing. It's just sniping down villagers with its spring -alled. Dealing 54 damage and attack. The range is absolutely increased. It's Relic Garrison. So armor is increased. Damage is increased. Sight range is increased. And weapon range is increased. It's incredible. He's just having his prelates drop them into these outposts and then creep forward. He thinks that he's won by clearing out all these outposts, but the new outpost creep is coming, and it's even worse. If he tries to bring the battering rams in, all these man-at-arms are just going to tear them apart. Yeah, the Zhugnu aren't going to help. Oof, look at the shots. Look at the range on this thing. That's insane. Wow. 
we get enough to age up. I'm just kind of playing a very boring strategy over here because my allies seem to be doing all right, and I just don't want to make any more mistakes. I feel like my ram attack didn't go well. I lost some villagers, lost my scout, so I'm just kind of on the back foot and saying to myself, okay, I guess I'll be the one to start booming and just try to age up and get out some units. Uh, although really my focus right now was let's get out on the map and start putting down outposts because it looks like uh, my opponents that they're really going to have to coordinate to start stopping this outpost creep and siege from the Holy Roman Empire. If we can kind of insert ourselves between, yeah, we can pick up units like these French knights. Though there are French knights here, it looks like they picked up some kills on the Holy Roman Empire, but he's got infantry here and they are strong. They deal bonus damage to all these knights and I see them, so I'm actually gonna order my units south and try to uh, catch the knights as they retreat. Yep, Longbowman Gang, good. Hits in and Spearman skewering a few on the way out too. We're getting the Network of Castles enhancement. We're gonna make some Spring Alden placements. We're just going to keep our units in this area. If we secure this, we secure a few more relics and these sacred sites. And like I said, we're really here to keep an eye on what units are moving across the map and try to intercept them when we can. Yeah, Longbowman getting a few shots in there. That's what we like to see. I think Longbowman and Spearman are going to be good here. Though we're seeing lots of ranged units. There's more archers from the French. We could really get a stables down. That'd be nice. Yeah, it looks like I'm already on it. I'm recognizing the unit composition I'm going to need. We are in the Castle Age. We do have our King's Palace. And now all three of us are in the Castle Age. Looks like Offshore Wave, the uh, Mongol ally, getting the step root out. But Minakwa is in the, uh, the Castle Age now. And yeah, they can't really come forward. They kill a lot of my spearmen, but I'll just retreat them into the outpost. That's the nice part about having these outposts out here. If my spearmen end up useless, I can tuck them in the outpost, just like the Mongols do. And uh, protect them, and they can start shooting arrows from the outpost. Yeah, I like this. This is a lot of harassment. I think my Holy Roman Empire is a little over... Uh, ally is a little overextended here. I'd like to see him retreat. Yeah, he's probably trying to bait them into these outposts. And if any of these players don't pay attention, then their units are just going to walk into it. It looks like, okay, they wisely retreated. But look, the villagers are still getting too close. This outpost might start taking shots on these villagers. And the Holy Roman Empire player is just going to continue to pressure with these uh, man-at-arms uh, man and rams. He could probably start destroying all of this. Because then all these units have to come to the right and they'll start to encounter these outposts. Ugh, more villagers. They just wander over to the deer and get killed. We're going to continue to wall up, but now we're seeing a stone wall going down from uh, the Chinese opponent. We'll send a few units over to just catch these villagers as they're building this wall. Looks like they're just finishing it up, but we'd love to just snipe these three villagers here. Let's switch over to income. Ooh, yeah, very nice. Looks like Malian opponent is ahead in wood. Chinese opponent is ahead in gold. French are gathering the most stone, but my Holy Roman Empire ally is gathering a ton of food. Probably all these blessed villagers gathering up sheep here. Plus, he can start to gather from these berries, maybe the boar. Yeah, he's taking advantage of these forward resource deposits. Over here, they're getting pissed off at my annoying outposts. So they're trying to take them out, but I did stone enhance them. They need rams. The clock tower nest of bees is an okay choice, but yeah, I like how this outpost is really annoying them, and it's giving us vision wherever their uh, their units go. Yeah, the Holy Roman Empire player is committing. Old Town just wants this base dead. And the rams backing it up are really good. Yep, the units are streaming over. Uh, looks like the Mongols are engaging with the French, Holy Roman Empire engaging with the Chinese and the Malians, and me? I'm just grabbing up units when I see them. So we're shooting down, re reinforcing palace guards. We're going for villagers on the front lines. And this outpost is always getting little shots in from its spring all emplacement. So we're just being annoying. While my allies are bearing the brunt of all of this, yeah, look at that. Although, ooh, engage on those knights, engage on the knights. I'd love to see that. These knights are way out of position. 
Yeah, the spring alden placements just really started kicking in there, and now we're seeing traction trebuchets. These can be assembled in the field by the Mongols. They're not great, but they're working down this town center really quick. And yeah, they can just re-engage. Me, I'm continuing to be annoying. I'm also getting more and more horsemen. We're getting more upgrades, and my income is really starting to pop off. Uh, our opponents don't really have a safe place to gather food. I mean, we are starting to see some farms coming down from the Chinese. But the Malians are struggling on food. I mean, their income is basically non-existent at this point. French are struggling with the farm transition. Looks like they're getting there. But me, English, we've got our farms. We're feeling good. And I think this Malian opponent is done. And yeah, we're, we're trying to harass with our own units. We've got veteran horsemen. We should try and get them, yeah, into the back lines. See if we can't get a response from uh, our opponents. And I am thinking of the siege game here. I just got enough wood. Looks like we're putting down a siege workshop. We're going to use that to start putting on pressure. Because we need a trebuchet of our own. And we also want more stone. Because I'd love to get a keep up here. Then I can start producing units on the front end. Because English keeps are just incredible. Ooh, this mass of Zhugnu and crossbowmen is very strong. We've got to be careful engaging with it. Ooh, and my units are just not being controlled well there. Random horsemen did make it in the back. We are seeing ways of getting our units into the back lines. We should continue to try that out. Oh, this outpost continues to be great. We even used a villager to repair it. Yeah, I think this villager came out, repaired it, and then went right back to gold mining. Now incomes have completely changed. The Malian opponent is done. The Chinese opponent is getting up in the two and a half range, maybe 3K range, but all of us, we're doing very well. The Mongols are gaining so much. They're at like two and a half. Old Town is probably up at two and a half, and I'm looking really strong. I love my income right now. And we're gathering just more and more stone. We'll be seeing a, uh, a keep coming up sometime soon. And now it's starting to feel like a, uh, a 2v3. It's starting to feel like the game's winding down. Yeah, we are seeing some nasty units coming out from the Chinese. I mean, these are well-upgraded crossbowmen and palace guards. There's also um, Zhugnu mixed in, although we are starting to see some archers. Maybe the resources are starting to run out. Let's check out current resources. Malians, of course, not, not much at all. Chinese opponent Minakwa doing really well spending their resources. Ibrahim's got a bit too much wood, really needs to convert that into a uh, farming economy. Pretty happy with my allies, although Old Town is sitting on a ton of stone. I would not be surprised if we see some keeps going down in the next minute. And my food is just exploding. We're, we're trying to spend it. Yeah, we're doing well. We're getting knights and horsemen. Our unit production is starting to finally kick in. Hopefully we've got, yes, we've got the military academy, so we're, we're getting out lots of, uh, we're getting lots of military production. We prevent the keep from going up temporarily. That felt pretty good. We're continuing to be annoying. We are looking for places where our opponents are exposed, and look at that. We find a trebuchet. We've got the right units to just run in and kill it. And that allows my allies to continue to move forward. Every time we snipe a trebuchet, a bunch of uh, our own buildings start going up. We have the confidence to move forward, creep across the map. I'm also thinking about grabbing these sacred sites. I'd love to see that. Yep, more relics being grabbed. The Holy Roman Empire ally, Old Town. I can't imagine how many relics he's sitting on right now. Looks like one, two, three, four. Um, picked up a fifth over here. Now my income is, is just doing incredible. I'd love to make it to the Imperial Age and then get those enclosures. We're trying to grab upgrades. We're a little behind. We definitely need some of these level 1 upgrades, though. Wisely, as the English, we have grabbed those ranged upgrades, so our crossbowmen and longbowmen really do good damage here. We're also making spring alds. That's pretty much all we've been making from our siege workshop, because we know we need to snipe down these uh, clock tower nest of bees. And look at all of the mangonels from the Mongol uh, ally. What a good choice. We'd love to see those engage on all these range units from the Chinese. It's looking like this might be GG. Elsbach Palace going down in the center. That does so much damage. It recently got changed as well. Or actually, no, I think it I think it stayed the same. 
And look at the mangonels. They're starting to realize what they need to target. And talk about satisfying. This annoying archer ball finally just wiped out. And that was a pretty big morale killer. The Chinese opponent surrenders and the rest surrender in a few moments. It was a good game. Uh, I didn't do much, I don't feel. Uh, all I could really do was build up this defensive line. Me and the Chinese player were really passive and instead just tried to support our allies on the side of the map. But uh, yeah, I still am not sure about Malians on this map. French looked great. Chinese, honestly, I think is a really good choice on this map. Um, it just allows for these great defensive structures like the Barbican of the Sun grabbing up early space. Their keeps are great and they can get siege units out rather quickly. But yeah, uh, the Mongol HRE combo over here was very impressive. Uh, well done by my allies. Big kudos to them. They, they kind of carried me here. All right. Hope to see you for the next game. Catch you then.